This might be the smallest palace I've ever been in. Well, it's an apartment. Orlando Bloom is getting and giving the royal treatment. The actor voices Prince Harry in HBO Max's new animated satire, The Prince, which roasts the British monarchy, all in good fun, of course. The trailer reveals Orlando offering his best Duke of Sussex impression when Harry gets a taste of civilian life after moving to the United States with wife Meghan Markle, voiced by Condola Rashad. This might be the smallest palace I've ever been in. Well, it's an apartment. Yes, an apartment palace, I know that. Lots of tiny palaces inside one big palace. Orlando's role isn't his only real-life tie to Harry. The pair actually became neighbors when Harry and Meghan relocated to Montecito, California, just down the street from Orlando and fiancé Katy Perry. And Harry revealed on Dax Shepard's Armchair Expert podcast earlier this year that he and Orlando give each other friendly warnings about nearby paparazzi. Harry isn't the prince's title prince, however. Creator Gary Janetti stars as Prince George, who doesn't hold back when letting his family know which royal really runs the household, at least in his mind. I think this play date is a big success. Oh, certainly, sir. I haven't had this much fun. Okay, well, of course it's more fun than whatever life event you were about to reference. Your life's a low bar. It seems no one in Buckingham Palace is off limits on the prince, Everyone, including the Queen, Prince Charles, Duchess Camilla, and George's parents, Prince William and Kate Middleton, are parodied. And fans may recognize Sophie Turner as the future king's sister, Princess Charlotte. Hi, George! Oh, is that French taste? Why? Do I look fat? I mean, yes. Season 1 of The Prince drops all 12 episodes on HBO Max July 29th. The series reportedly delayed its original spring premiere following Harry and Meghan's explosive Oprah interview and the death of Prince Philip weeks later. After Philip's passing, royal expert Charlie Langston explained to Access Hollywood why Harry and his grandfather were especially close and how Philip's support after the death of Harry's mother, Princess Diana, made their bond even stronger. I think Prince Harry is probably devastated. You know, he was very close to Prince Philip. Philip was there to guide Harry through one of the toughest times in his life after he lost his mother, Princess Diana. The two shared a very similar, slightly cheeky sense of humor. And I think Harry will also be feeling incredibly sad for his grandmother. You know, she has lost someone who was by her side for more than seven decades. And now that Harry is a husband and a father himself, I think he can appreciate more than anyone, just how that might feel to lose someone so important. And having been through such an awful loss when his mother died, I think Harry and William probably really understand how the Queen might be feeling. And they're also probably reflecting back on that time in their lives and just how significant a role Philip played during that time. Harry and Philip shared a wonderful sense of humor that was a little bit risky at times. They were always the ones who, you know, took the joke that extra step that other people might have been afraid to do. And as a result, he had a very close bond with Philip and with the Queen. You know, the Queen is said to have been especially fond of Harry because he reminded her so much of Philip. And, you know, that meant that he was a very comforting presence to her whenever he was around.